again. It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and I'm experimenting. These are my edge catchers. This is what edge catchers look like after you use them for a while. Someday I might make a collage out of them. Sometimes I take photographs of them and call them collages. In the meantime, I did grab some black paint. Yes, I did. And I am gonna, and I've shaken it and it's got Floetrol and GAC 800 and Deco Art Pouring Medium in it. And what I did the last time I made a painting, the test run, I, uh, I mixed my colors in the shovel, in layers. And I don't want to do that this time. I want the colors that I want. And I want them all to be nice and bright. I'd like them all to come out too. That would be so awesome. I don't know that I can get away with any gold because when I do this method with a heavy coat of paint on the surface I don't often see the gold survive. It, it sort of uh, it sinks away to nothing. But um, I'm using colors that I like. I haven't used that today. I think that's what I want. Wait, no, I found it. This is the one. These are Art Minds colors. This one's a um, an iridescent that I absolutely love. Right on my canvas. Don't mean it. it doesn't matter. It's going to be black in a second. Ah, got a nice sideways. All right. So I wanted some yellow, and that's just crazy because yellow is going to turn green with blue. <laughs> Am I crazy enough to do that? I think I'm just going to go back to my original idea over here. And if I need to add something, I'll say, well, you know what I can add? I can add some magenta. That wasn't... Yeah, it was. Well, this is a magenta red. Very similar, but not the same. So I've got some colors that I like, and probably more of them than I need move most of my paint out of the way, put this aside, and it should stay long enough for me to decide to use my, yes, there it is, my OXO omelette turning spatula, miraculous paint spreading spatula. I want a thick layer. I don't want as thick a layer as I've had because I might want to try again to put some gold on, and it would be so nice if it would not disappear. I have things in my way. So I'd like to take this only to the edge because I might wind up tipping it. Um, the 14 by 14 inch canvas that I tried my last shovel full on wasn't really big enough for me to make um, the pattern that I wanted to. The ribbon pour out of it and tip it with enough width I need a larger canvas so I can spread the paint further. I definitely have enough paint on here. Lots and lots and lots of paint. Which does facilitate the movement of everything else. I mean, it's definitely paint flows to paint and paint helps paint flow, of course. And so does the deco pouring medium. And my temptation is to put the torch on this and see if I have any bubbles because I did such an amount of shaking, but I'm somewhat partially convinced that, yeah, i got to use it, um, that as I spatula, I, I destroy a lot of the bubbles. I may be foolish. <laughs> There's a pretty good chance of that, actually, that I'm foolish, but maybe not. I should hit it. I just don't like firming up the, the surface of the, uh, of the artwork with the torch. And I, am, I do want to use the paint that's on my spatula on the edges. I didn't think I did, but I do. And it's it's different. I like the matte black canvases to create on and I like doing shovel pours on them. But this is uh, this is meant to be just super simple and pretty much accidental art for sure. And I'm just hitting my edges as I talk to you and I'm almost done with that, which means it'll be a lot easier for me when I get to the part where I don't want to do that later. So we're almost ready and this ought to take no time at all if things go the way I'm anticipating. We'll see if that happens. That's, that's not always the way things work for me. 
So I've got my edges pretty well covered and a good layer of paint on the canvas and that spatula is going in the bucket. And now, what else do I really want? I do, I want some yellow. I want like a lot of yellow, even though I said I didn't. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a massive shovel hopeful, trying to scrape off the back of this. Now yesterday when I did this for the first time, I noticed that the black canvas helps the paint and the shovel go a lot further. My idea was if I let the shovel drain short of the edge, then I can, I was going to say scrape up my shovel and let it tip. I can do that also. I would like to use the rest of that paint up. I don't know if I'm going to have time to use the, the other paint that I've got. And I have quite a bit of paint right here on the, end, on the underside of that shovel. And since paint flows to paint, I'm going to throw that in the bucket. Since paint flows to paint and I, all I want to do is tip this, hey look, I don't have to tip it. It's just cool the way it is. I'm done. Right, so I've got medical tubing and I want to blow that over. Extremely gently. Which is sort of kind of working, but I really want that yellow to stay. So I'm going to just throw some more right in there since that's what that is. Boy, I really love it just like it is. And um, I'm somewhat confident that if I tip this, that I will get some interesting shapes. And I'm hoping that that's the truth. I see I've got some really neat cells coming up. I would like to tip that right into an edge catcher, but I'm not sure that I'm not just gonna keep this right like it is. And I think that the nice pattern comes from having a pan of paint as opposed to squeezing layers in. And I'm just going to torch this. And if I want to do something to it tomorrow, I can. I'm just going to get rid of the bubbles. Maybe that black paint right there. There is no silicone in my paint mix, but there is Floetrol. And Floetrol and Decor Pouring Medium, the other one that's in there, both will help promote cells. I just really like to not have any bubbles in this. And warming the paint would often release the air bubbles. It's just super simple. Every time I do one of these, I just want to add a big gold swath down one side. I don't know how far this will spread if I tip it again. And I don't know if I really want to even tip it again. I just wanted some pretty colors and a big wide strip across my canvas. I have to. I have to know. I can see the surface rippling from the uh, from the heat of the torch. So I'm going to tell you guys what I always tell you, which is uh, I have Teespring under the uh, under the video and my paint pouring recipe is under the video too. I do sell my artwork so contact me through YouTube if you're interested in that. On the end screens of this video you'll find over 500 other videos and if you want to help me out and you can't do it any other way, if you watch more of the videos you help me out because the algorithm places me where more people can find me. I just want to add a spiral. <laughs> do I? Probably not. I just got to do something to it just once. Okay, I did pretty much nothing to this, but that's okay. Um, I have Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook albums at the bottom of the description. Um, when you're watching online, at least, on a computer, or I don't even know if you'd find them on a cell phone. But if you ever have questions, you can ask me whatever you want, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I love you guys. There's 60,000 subscribers. Um, I need your thumbs up for the same reason I need you to watch more of the videos, because it, it speaks to the algorithm. And uh, the algorithm is God at YouTube. And uh, it will get me more 
it will get me more views. I think I want some more orange down here. I guess you can tell that. <laughs> and I could throw some more of any color I wanted to in there, and maybe I will some other time, but um, I'm pretty happy with this, except for that. And I want some more of that. And uh, so, what did I not tell you? I didn't tell you that I have Pixels and Fine Art America on my Facebook pages. And you can see lots of cool stuff I've been posting there since 2013. And if you want to help me out, also look for Curios, because there's some cool stuff there. And um, I think that's about it. I have an Amazon link and a book called Because I Can on the Amazon link. And you can ask me for that if you want it. And you will find my gold mica powder there. And the OXO omelette turning spatula that I put the black paint down with. And I'm going to throw some other paint into this paint. And try and cover this until I can get a canvas out here. And probably use that right up in another video. So I love you guys. And I want to say thank you to everybody for all the contributions that have kept me painting so far. I know this is simple and foolish, but I love it. And I really just wanted to do that. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the compliments you guys give me all the time. And if you want to be in this month's drawing, just contribute through PayPal or Patreon. The links are underneath the YouTube header. Don't touch the canvas. Actually, you see that I have... Whoa, that was close. I see I have a little bit of canvas showing on the edge of that. And since my black paint is so thick, I have a certain amount of confidence that I can get away with that. Let's hope I'm right, because I like the smooth texture of all that. Alright, I love you guys, and I'll see you in another video. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery of Growing. That was kind of way too quick, but um, that was kind of fun, too. I love you guys. I said that! <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla, out.